On this episode of Hardtail Party, we're riding the Arizona Trail from the north rim of the Grand Canyon all the way to Utah across two days. So Cody and I have set a goal to ride the entire Arizona Trail in sections. This is one of the two remaining sections we haven't ridden yet. So I thought it'd be fun to invite all my friends, some of my favorite riding people. We're gonna take two days to do this. It's gonna be vehicle supported. My awesome wife, Dusty Betty's bringing our water and our food every 10 or 15 miles. So we don't have to carry much on our bikes. Let me introduce you to our crew. Hey, how you doing? I'm Dan Stanton from Stanton Bikes, uh, over from the UK. Uh, I'm on my uh, Sherpa tie. Uh, this is actually the Gen 4 version that I'm keeping under my hat at the minute. Cody. Been on this adventure with Steve for a while now and ready to get another section done. I'm on my pod sole today. Hey, Stephen King from St. George. And today I'm on my Rocky Mountain Element. I'm going squishy today. <laughs> Joseph Beckstead, AKA Minor Biker from Richfield. And I'm on my Fazari Signal Peak. And I'm on my Stanton Switch Niner tie. I've under forked it, 120, which you shouldn't do because it makes the bottom bracket very low, but man, is it sweet. It's got the Cerakote splatter, neon splatter. It looks so cool. And I've got this custom Rogue Panda frame pack. So I'm going packless and putting all my water and tools and stuff in there. So this is a 77 mile trip. We're breaking it up into 40 to 50 miles on day one and then the rest on day two. We're gonna hit the trail, it's starting to get hot, hoping to get a lot of the climbing done before it gets really hot. Arizona trail, baby. Oh man, I've been so excited to do this. We tried to do it last year, but the forest fires prevented us. Bikes on epic trails with really good friends, nothing's better. What a day. Good to see you, Steven. Dude, yeah, I know. So, so Glad so you much. came out, man. Thanks so much for the invite. Dan's chuffed, so we're happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning all the UK sling. Gutted is a bad thing and chuffed is a good thing. <laughs> it's been awesome spending time with Dan. He came out for this ride to make sure he was part of it and I'm so glad he did. It's a treat to be on one of his bikes. We're still in the national park boundaries. Very rare to have legal single track for bikes in a national park. I hope everybody watching this knows you belong in the mountain bike community even if you're not a shredder. I love blue-green trails like this on a hardtail. It just makes me smile. You don't have to be extreme or shredding to enjoy this sport. You belong no matter how you ride. My wife, Dusty Betty, would love to be on this with us, but we couldn't find a babysitter for two days. She's really great at riding this type of trail. Kind of dry dirt with loose golf ball sized rocks all over it. Kind of surfy and skatey. These guys are great riders in great shape. Cody just finished a 550 mile Colorado trail in 10 days. Did most of it solo. in killer shape as always. We stashed some water 10 miles in and uh, we're gonna top off. We got another 10 miles till our next water break. Way easier not having a loaded bike on this. So. <laughs> Cody's used to nice. a 60 pound bike on the Colorado Trail. Yeah. That was just last week. Yeah, but otherwise single track's awesome out here. I reckon Arizona's slightly different than the UK weather-wise. Oh yeah, massively. Tell yeah. me about it. So firstly, it's roasting hot, it's super dry. I feel like I've got a piece of rice stuck in my throat all the time. I've drank about a litre and a half of water over 10 miles. The altitude is unbelievable. Every single time, even if it's a short bursting climb, you're all right on the climb. And as soon as you start to level out, your body's trying to suck in the oxygen to feed the muscles. It's very, very different, very different. But 
great fun. You're crushing it. You're I'm not slowing it. us down it. at all. Bless you, mate. You're I'm doing awesome. It. It's brilliant. What do you think, Stephen? You ever done this section? I've never done this section. Yeah. You liking it? it? Oh, it's so so amazing. Yeah, just so so stoked to be out here. Joseph, we've been wanting to do this for three or four years now. I know, finally here. I've been wanting to get on this for a long time. Good times. You're crushing it, man. Love it. So far, all the climbs have been nice and gradual. Yeah. Nothing crazy. just really flat and you can really pedal push at fast speed so in the winter this part's under several feet of snow so you got to wait for all the snow to melt to ride this trail but then in the summer there's a lot of fire danger we're riding the middle of July it's a little hot but there have been wildfires this year and we we're waiting for them to die down to be able to hit this so it's a little warm, but it turned out pretty good. This little Wahoo element roam is incredible. It tells me when climbs are coming. It's color coded to tell me how steep each climb is. It shows me how long I have to climb it. Really helpful info when you're riding a trail blind. <sighs> Poor Dan, we invite him to Arizona in the middle of July. <laughs> from the UK, he's never seen heat like this or elevation like this. No. Nice work. Cheers, bro. We've all been training for this ride and doing some practice rides to lead up to it. Wonderful to have a big crew with everyone in shape. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! You! Oh, that was good. <laughs> yeah. What an epic trail for hardtails. I try not to only show the downhill. Can't see it because the GoPro is so wide angle. I'll try and zoom in. You can see part of the Grand Canyon, the dips below that plateau. It is spectacular. What a view. Yeah, we got to stop here and soak that in. Wow, so cool. That's just below Lee's Ferry. Lake Powell's upstream of this. Spectacular. The girls decided to join us. They're running sag wagon and they rode down to be with us. Did you go to the Grand Canyon? Tell me about it. We saw a burro. A burro? Yeah. Nice. Was it alive? No. It was a statue? Yeah. Did you go on a hike? A little bit, yeah. Did you look off the cliff and see the big canyon? We're heading to the truck for our lunch break. All right, to the car. Lunch time. Yeah. Tortilla, peanut butter, and a bunch of salami. When is I don't know how I feel about that, <laughs> but if it makes me ride half as much as you, yeah. I feel great about it. You gotta try it, babe. It's actually pretty good. Okay, right. that's actually good. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. Right. I'm a fan. Lunch is over. We're ready to go hit the trail. Let's do this. Do it. 19 miles down, 31 to go. Yep. 59 miles to the Utah border. That's what we're doing this trip. 743 to Mexico. Oh, this frame is so good. It feels like a great steel frame. 
but even lighter and stiffer under acceleration, which I love. And it does surprisingly well under four. I'm running a ton of a ton of stack with spacers. So loose, just on the brink of control. So fun. <laughs> Look at that. Amazing. Dan's overheating, so we're going to cool him off. It's so hot. It's really hot. Yeah. That feels amazing. Good. You just get comfortable drifting and floating on this stuff. Odd sensation. This is spectacular. Look at that lake right there. That means climb. Piece of cake. Ooh, that part's not a piece of cake. Oh, redo. Oh yeah, all day long. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right, Cody, let's see if you're a first tryer. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, he's got it. He's got it. Are we surprised? No, we are not surprised. There it is. Oh, that is no joke. It looks so easy on the GoPro, but uh, this is steep and loose. And then there's random rocks to get your pedals. And then the gear you need to get up this is not the gear to finish. You got it, Steven. Now shift. You got it, you got it, you got it. Go, 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 go. Oh. There it is. Hold it together. <laughs> nice. There it is. Look at that. Well done. That's it. There you go. Push, push. Don't stop. Yeah. Rock right there, you hooked my tire. Oh. Push, 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 push. Yeehaw! Oh. This last hour has been brutal. A lot of tough climbs, slowing us down in the heat of the day. But we got some cloud cover. That's so nice right now. Had another snack break with the truck. Topped off our water. It was pretty hot. That last climbing section was my least favorite part. There were some really tough climbs. We're 33 miles in. We're gonna go for the full 50 miles tonight all the way to camp. This is why I ride bikes. This is amazing. Oh, incredible. Vermilion cliffs ahead, breathtaking. Pretty weird how you get used to this loose condition by the end of 40 miles thank you very much two more behind me <laughs> so loose <sighs> oh boy
Need a little bit easier gear on that. That's tough. We've had the most incredible trail support with our drivers. Super, super appreciative of them. We got 10 more miles to camp. Let's bring it home before it gets dark. Feeling brilliant now, yeah. I think cloud cover's come in, temperature's dropped. You guys were super awesome when it came to uh, recovery, putting water on me, getting me, uh, you know, all the um, isotonic drinks and so on. Yeah, man, absolutely brilliant. I gotta give Dan props for telling us how he feels. A lot of times we ride with people and they're not used to the heat and then they say nothing and they just lightheaded, they're dizzy and they don't let us know what's coming and by then it's a little too late, so. Props yeah. to you, Dan. Cheers Bless for you, letting us know how it's going yeah. as it goes so that we can respond appropriately and get you recovered yeah. so you don't go in a dark place you can't come back from. That, the last part of that section, the, la the last section, that was brutal. The midday sun was just roasting me. Yeah, and you guys stayed with me. Here's some salty drink. <laughs> <laughs> go wash your head. Yeah, it made a massive difference to me. Good. Super grateful to you. All right, let's drive it home. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to rain on us. Yeah. That feels good. Dan's gonna have to teach us how to ride in the rain. Big old fat rain. <laughs> oh, that's slippery. We're drifting everywhere. <laughs> this was on fire last week. Hold up, Dan's got a mechanical. Dan's rear hub is not happy. Oh, he's keeping on it, eh? What's it like when you shift through? It feels pretty smooth before. It okay, like I wonder what that was about. Catching you, huh? yeah. Looks good now though. Yeah. Okay, okay, come to me. What an awesome group of friends. Oh, I just feel alive. This is why I ride. You alright? Oh, no way. Did you guys see that owl? No. Was that an owl? Yeah, it was huge. What the? The thing just like... Uh, yeah, I sliced it. Oh. Okay. And I have this it. group is super prepared. We all that. have a little bit of sealant. Yeah, we all that. have a pump. We all have a tube. We all have plugs. Each person has that. And so between all of us, we got everything we need. I love going with prepared people. Takes all the stress out of it. <laughs> yeah. High yeah. volume, or you have a high volume. I've got a high volume. Right, cool. Cody, how do you like the one-up pump? I love this thing. Do you store tools in it? No. Man, you lost a ton of air. Yeah. Did you feel it when it happened? No, I don't even know Probably what it was. Probably just a stick or something. Yeah. We're all plugged. And no, you don't need to trim that off. You leave it like that. The sealant oh. reacts with it. It will seal that hole. And you're good for another thousand miles on that tire. Right. Have to we be. could also patch it. I brought a patch kit. We could patch it from the inside tonight if you want to be extra safe. It must have been a stick because otherwise it would have been on the beat if it had been a pinch, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. I like jibbing around up here, but man, I'm tired and that's when I crash. This bike, the Switch Niner tie is absolutely fantastic. It is such a smooth ride. It's stiff under pedaling. And even though I under forked it in the bottom bracket's a little low, man, it handles so well like this. Oh, we're close to camp. I can feel it. Trials challenge. That's a tricky one. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I need a little break. 
That is so fun. I need a break from pumping everything. Oh yeah. Nice riding, Steven. You so crushed good. it. So good. Thank you so much for the invite. Dude, I'm so glad you came. Such a special time. It is. Special day. Fender buddy! Hi! We've made it to camp! Good to see you. Hi. Carnitas hot and ready for us. Oh my goodness. You spoil us, babe. This is amazing. Hey, Miss Mermaid, how you doing? We're having taco salad tonight. It is so wonderful after a long ride. And he's hoping I drop some. Chance, what buddy. a treasure to have Dan here. Absolute pleasure, Dan. I'm loving it, mate. Sincerely, I'm so grateful that you invited me. This is an experience of a lifetime, 100%. No. Thank you. Cody, what was the best part of the day? I think that la the last two segments, like after we cooled Dan down and just cruising across that burn scar and that descent was just so fun. Yeah. It was so good. I have to agree with Cody, but it was just being, I think it was just being with everybody. It was so cool. And then Dan was a beast, you know. I don't know where he went. But... He's in bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we blame him? The beast is sleeping now. But yeah, he's he was just really cool that he didn't like give in, you know, like just we got him back on his feet and he was he pushed through and then he felt really good. And we had a great group. Like, yeah, killer group. The whole crew, everyone just stepped up. Everyone drived, everyone had fun. Best part of the day for me was accomplishing something difficult. There were ups and downs, awesome moments, tons of great moments throughout the day. But this was hard for me and I pushed myself and we did it. And Cody and I are just chipping away at our goal to ride the whole Arizona Trail. Really excited to have experienced this with wonderful people. Friendships and family relationships were just strengthened through this and that's why we do this. I love these trips and the people that come on them are absolutely incredible people. What was the best part of the day, Little Dusty? The Grand Canyon and riding on my mom's bike. Yeah, nice job. Joseph, what was your favorite part of the day? Overall, it was just all good. I don't think there was any one point that was my favorite. It was that whole day, that whole trail, everything was fantastic. My favorite part of the day was um, after I'd uh, recovered, cooled down, um, and we went on that final 14-mile um stint uh the cloud broke and the rain started to fall the temperature dropped we had some humidity uh there was moisture in the air a bit of rice wasn't in the back of my throat anymore it just changed for me i felt like a new man it was amazing dan was screaming when it started raining and i thought he'd seriously injured himself but he was just so happy <laughs> to see rain i hope the audio comes through because he's just kind of yelling ah Oh, oh, and we're like, what's yeah. wrong? It's raining. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Little slice of England that was exactly what on our was. ride today. Oh, yeah. I have the greatest wife on the planet, and she helps me make these trips possible. We take turns being shuttle and support driver, but she does the lion's share of the work. What was your favorite part of the day? I had a lot of fun with Little Dusty at National Park at Grand Canyon, so that was really fun. I was a little bit sad that we couldn't work out logistics that I could ride, but it's still fun to do support. So it was just cool seeing you guys every hour and a half or so and um, just seeing everybody be excited. And it's it's nice to be out on a trip like this. This has probably been one of our favorite ways to spend time in the outdoors with friends for years. And I hope we have many more trips like this ahead. But I'm vowing to return the favor. So when she has a group of friends that she wants to do this with, I'll be support vehicle too. I'll take you up on it. Good, I hope you will. <laughs> Good morning, it's day two. We're all waking up, getting moving. A little bit stiff, a little bit sore, but better than I should be for having ridden 50 miles yesterday. Got a little breakfast burritos going on today. You ready for another exciting day? 
We're checking in on Cody's repair. It's doing pretty well. How'd you sleep? Really well. I don't think I had much choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're ready to head out. Steven had to head home last night and spend some time with his family, so he's not going to be joining us on this leg. We miss you, Steven. So there's four of us now. Let's get started before it gets too hot. 50 feet from camp, Cody's plug burst and started making noises. Yeah, we're better here than... Yeah. Did you pull the old one out or just shove another one in there? I shoved three more in there. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. That feels awesome. pretty solid now. I've got a tube and I've got a lot more bacon. It's definitely going soft quick. Let's just put a tube in. How many tires have you changed in your lifetime? <sighs> Too many to count. Over a thousand, you think? Ooh, yeah, at least. Yeah. When you're on the trail, you're going to need that skill set. <laughs> That was three minutes max. Nice work. Okay, it's gonna take me half an hour to warm these legs up, but we'll get there. These are the greatest gates. I love these gates. 28 mile day, sounds good. 1100 feet of climbing. Oh, what a beautiful day to get started. A little climb. Yeah, Cody. It's gonna be a hot day today, gonna get up to 90 degrees in the high country and probably 100, 105 in the low country. We lose a lot of elevation at the end and it gets hot down there. Joseph's using the Forest Service map to verify if the single track ahead is legal to bikes or not. It's a little bit ambiguous. This section is open to hiking, pack and saddle, and bicycles. Excellent. All right, okay. let's go back to the motorized trail. All right, thank you. We'll yeah. hit the single track. Thank that's you, good. Joseph. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Oh, these hardtails that Dan designed are doing so well. He's on the Sherpa Gen 4, which has not been announced yet. Woo! <laughs> and I'm on a Switch Niner. Both tie Stanton frames. Oh, this way, Dan. Wow, look at this. Going through the burn zone. Kind of spooky in here. It's really dry. There's no moisture in the air. This dry burn scar really evaporated all the water. Ooh, thistles to the shin. This trail's been great on a hardtail. You can see about 200 miles off into the distance. Oh, this dropper's got a lot of play in it right now. Darn. Well, hopefully I can reset it and set it all back to normal. <laughs> oh, such good flow. It's so much fun. Whoever made this section of trail, bravo. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. So much fun. Oh, what an adventure. This definitely gave me vibes of the Colorado Trail without the soul-crushing hike of bikes. We saw you guys driving down. We were going through a meadow and it looked like it had probably been destroyed in a flood and they had just completely regraded it. So it was just all loose <laughs> silt. Have you guys ever tried these? These are amazing. Probably my favorite snack on this trip. It's my favorite. Dance into the teriyaki jerky. Yeah, you love the teriyaki jerky. Mm-hmm. 
Cooling off. Dan, you're doing pretty well with heat regulation? Yeah, absolutely fine. Do First you... time having a Gatorade. You've only seen it on TV before? That's true. Yeah, I've only ever seen them on TV. I feel like I'm in a film right now. They're so uh, thirst quenching. <laughs> <laughs> Watching my reverb vent valve procedure to take the slop out of my reverb because it's sloppy. Well, I followed the procedure. I've got a little bit of play, but it's definitely better. Oh man, I feel the lactic acid. My legs are tired. I'm glad we pushed for the 50 yesterday. A bunch of cattle came through when it was wet and have these post holes everywhere. I'm wishing for about 100 mil of rear suspension right now. Oh, it's a supple frame, but not supple enough to take that sting out. My dropper's feeling good. The squish is gone. I'm glad it has that reset ability. Even the wind's hot. But we knew that would happen dropping into Southern Utah. We're at the vehicles for our last support. We're going to top off our water and then finish it off the last 10 miles back. This Arizona desert ain't no joke, is it? Thanks for helping us with water. We'll see you at the end. Let's do a quick little bike check. I know some of you are curious. This is the Stanton Switch Niner tie with my amazing splatter Cerakote job. Rogue Panda custom frame bag, loving it. 5 dev 165 mil cranks crank brothers mallet e my favorite pedals absolute black chain ring gx axis it's been flawless really like it on this running paul clamper mechanical brakes elite carbon trail nar 30 wheels i'm running a specialized eliminator 23 up front a schwalbe wicked will 24 out back kind of got mixed feelings it's fun how slidey and skatey it is Running that Axis Reverb that's been acting up just a little bit. We're running these Stanton tie bars. They feel incredible. We have a 5-dev titanium 2-bolt stem and the Wahoo Element Rome 2. Beautiful ride. It's got a nice stiff power delivery, but it doesn't beat you up when you're on the trail. It's like the best of aluminum and tie and steel. It's, it's really remarkable how good this rides. And we've under forked it a ton, 20 mil under forked. I don't necessarily recommend that. It's working out well today because this trail is so flat. That super low bottom bracket, uh, it just gets it to pivot really well around the corners. It just feels glued to the ground. Really fun. We've got 10 miles to the state line to the Utah border. Here's a little map of the Arizona Trail. We're right here finishing this very last section of Utah. It goes all the way across from the Utah border to Mexico, all through Arizona. There's a couple spots that are wilderness, and so there are bypasses for bicycles because bicycles aren't allowed in wilderness. But this is the 790 mile non-motorized trail. Cody and I have been chipping away at little by little. It's been a much bigger undertaking than I thought it would be. Uh, it's taken us two years just with weather and life and everything we've got going on. We've just done it in little segments, little one or two overnighters here and there. But man, it's been a really good challenge to push myself to do that. It's helped my fitness. It's helped me get to know this state better and learn where the epic parts are that I want to go back and ride. It's been so much fun to set a challenge like this and ride it with friends. Bring us home, Cody. All right, 10 miles. We got this. Oh man, I just had a snake flip up onto my leg. That was freaky. That freaked me out. It caught my leg and started walking up my leg and I just flung it off. Woo! That was nasty. I hope I never experience that again. Oh, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. We got this. Almost. There it is. Nice! 
Yeah. Nope. I just didn't have it in me. Fun to session on the trail though. Thanks guys. Down a little bit rockier and looser. A lot hotter down here. I'm just trying to rein it in a little. I've got 67 miles of riding behind me and I'm tired. I'm a little fatigued, so I'm just taking it easy. Trying not to crash here. No shade. Just baking in the middle of the sun. He's doing it. He's a desert rat now. What do you have to say about the uh, desert for those who've never been here? You have to ride it. You know, to know what it feels like, you'd have to come and ride it. It's amazing that you guys can ride this stuff all the time. You can get used to it. I guess it's a, you're acclimatized to things. I think I've acclimatized to about 30 degrees now, but we're at what, 36 now, something like that. I just, I love the shade, hankering for shade on these climbs. It's just so, so hot, so hot. Never ridden in anything like it. We'd have weather warnings everywhere. Stay indoors. We get that at like 25 degrees in the UK. We had that in July when it was raining outside. So that just shows you. Yeah, a Hobbit all the way from Hobbiton from the Shire. You're doing great. Normally when I ride in the peak, there's a gate, there's a gate, there's a gate, you know. Uh, you get some sections where you get like a nice, nice down section for maybe 15, 20 minutes. But here you just, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. It's brilliant. I'm having a great time. You have a great attitude. I know it's hot. You're doing great. Cheers, mate. Oh, that little bit of breeze makes oh. a big difference. Dan doing his best David Hasselhoff impression. Don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Following Joseph, minor biker. Joseph's awesome. He's a good friend, incredible rider. He's got a great YouTube channel. Exploring mostly Utah, but other places too. So much flow on this trail. No loam. Every corner is a sketchy, loose, gravelly corner. But great flow out here. Oh, I think I just cracked my rim. I hit that so hard and I feel sealing on my leg. I gotta take a look. Dang it. Not good. Yep, I got a flat. Might just be a pinch flat, but I feel like I cracked the rim. Yeah, I cracked the rim, dang it. And we got a little snake bite there, but the rim is cracked right there. I don't know what I hit it on, but I felt it instantly and I thought, that is a cracked rim. That one, I don't know what happened. I didn't see the rock. I felt it, but I didn't like jump and come down hard on anything. But there's a lot of rocks out here, a lot of sharp stuff. I'm just going to throw two Bolito in, call it good. If you ever want a fun video, I blow up tubes until they explode and I think the tubolito was the most noisy one it just sounds like a cannon going off it's pretty wild and it was fun to see how these things react to having too much pressure in them back in college some guys who lived in the dorms they stuck a Thank tube you, under their door oh, no. and had the valve inside <laughs> and then pumped it up till it exploded oh boy and the bomb squad ended up coming. Uh, <laughs> I believe it. It blew up so loud. Now here's the gross but important part. You wipe your hand along the inside. And you have to be careful because there's a lot of cacti in there, but you gotta get the cacti out or it's gonna pop your tubolito. Now you could put sealant in the tubolito if that happened. Let's try not to go there. You wanna be real precise, you use your tongue. I'm, pull <laughs> I'm pulling my plugs out. It looks like the crack is about 17 millimeters across. It looks cracked under the rim tape all the way to the channel. We're gonna be just fine to ride this, but darn, that's too bad. Two bolitos going in. Two bolito just came out with a new 
tube alito that works for both 27.5 and 29. Kind of interesting if you're running a mullet setup. Got him home. Yeah. I... Hopefully this is our last mechanical. I don't know. These tires well, still feel. Can, oh man, look. You could blame the bike. These cornering knobs are coming off. Oh yeah. Not impressed, Schwalbe. Look how much tread still on those. Yeah. You can tell. Oh, this side's starting. Man, they're all peeling up. These have been my favorite Schwalbe tires, but they're still not even close to my favorite tires. Spam all your. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in a row coming off. Just get me home, baby. Then we'll put some real tires on you. Trying to baby this rim. Woo! Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm good. Not worth it. That is the weirdest terrain. It's like sandy. It's grippy for a moment and then sandy loose in a nut. That looked like a rim dinger. The heat is unreal. It's got to be close to 98, 102, somewhere in there. Oh. I'm exhausted. This is a minor biker episode. I need a minute to get some water. That was a great bit of trail, really good fun. Got <laughs> roasted. You like that? Yeah, it was brilliant, yeah. yeah felt like at home. Awesome. Bit dry, but it felt more like at home. That's kind of wild stuff I ride all the time. Oh man, yeah. I think I'm just too fatigued. I'm like barely hanging on. Oh boy, that's loose. Last climb. Cheers, bro. Nice work. Oh man, this is what it's all about. If you've never done a long distance day with friends, find some good friends who will go your pace and who are safe and who are <laughs> riding well-maintained bikes and get out there and have an adventure. Man, this is one of my favorite ways to enjoy cycling. You can't help but smile on this stuff. Oh. Pretty rough with that tubolito pumped up to about 35 psi. I'm so tired, I'm just barely hanging on. What a trail! What an experience! So cool, we're seeing the sandstone out there by Lake Powell. I am riding so sloppy. a ridiculous slide you did back there, Steve. <laughs> did I slide? It looks like you two-wheel slid completely around that corner. <laughs>
tell My him, thoughts baby. exactly. You tell him. That descent was unreal. What a perfect way to end an epic trip with epic people. Yes, dude. This is how we're gonna sum it up right here. <laughs> the orange seal is peeling. <laughs> Dan. Yes, mate. Thank you for coming from the UK to share this with us. Thank you for having me. Thanks for arranging it. What was the best part of the trip for you? Um, the st that flow section that we had uh, at the start of this morning. And then uh, I'd say this descent was unbelievable. How fun were those shaly corners? Proper <laughs> hanging the foot out, dragging the bike round. It was such fun. I'll, I'd love to come and do that again, for uh -huh. sure. Awesome. Cody, what was your favorite part? I think I'm going to agree with Dan. That flow section in the middle, oh, that was so good. And then that final descent was just something else coming down here. You're going to think I'm weird, but I really liked when we dropped right down the wash section. Yeah, that <laughs> I love that, just that unpredictability and just yeah. wild. And then this final descent was amazing. Such a cool way to finish. My favorite part is spending time with amazing people in nature. This is why we ride. This is why Hardtail Party exists, to help people realize that there are adventures waiting for you. You just got to go out and get on them. And you don't have to chase Strava. You don't have to be a racer. You don't have to be fast to enjoy this wonderful sport of mountain biking. There's a place for you in this sport, no matter how you ride. Thanks for watching, everybody. There's a party in the mountains, and you're invited.